And I want to go across to India today, Sunil Ji Bhatt, who's live from Jammu, Ashraf Wani, live from Srinagar tonight, as we decode what this Suraksha Chakra is going to mean for 2023. Important visit, Sunil, by the Home Minister. Uh, you know, a rare visit by Amit Shah, but it comes with a great deal of expectations on the back of the uh, twin attacks in Rajori district, but also a great deal of expectations now on the levels of violence expected for the rest of 2023, which is expected to be a very, very crucial year as far as security levels are concerned. What are you reading into this? Absolutely, Shiv. It was a very significant visit of the Union Home Minister Amit Shah today. And uh, I have been out since 4 in the morning and uh, following this story very, very closely. He was scheduled to visit Rajori, where that dastardly terror attack took place on January 1. He wanted to meet uh, the family members of the victims personally. However, uh, due to bad weather, his chopper could not take off from Jammu. But nevertheless, he spoke to the family members of the victims on phone and he assured them that that uh, the government will uh, provide them all possible help and the killings will be avenged. That's the assurance that was given by Union Home Minister Amit Shah. But meanwhile, he went to Raj Bhavan in Jammu. He held uh, important security-related meetings with top uh, officials from the security establishment as well as from the civil administration. And later he addressed a press conference in Jammu where he clearly said that the security grid will be strengthened mm. and terrorism will not be allowed to raise its head again in Jammu. He said that he wants to assure the people of Jammu that uh, terrorism uh, will not again uh, okay. you know, raise its head here in Jammu. Because Shiv, uh, if we remember the decade of 90s and the uh, period between 2000 and 2010, there were series of massacres of the minority Hindu community in the hilly regions of uh, Jammu region, whether in Doda, erstwhile Doda district, or in the twin yes. border districts of Rajori and Punch. Now, after the targeted attacks on the minority Hindus in Rajori, there is concern that you know uh, that more such attacks could take place, and that is why Union Home Minister Amit Shah is taking this matter very seriously. He is personally okay. uh, monitoring the situation, and he himself, you know, uh, came to Jammu and he held important right. meetings with the security officials. And the message is loud and clear that there is zero tolerance to terror. And he also and sent yes, out and, and he also talks about that Suraksha Chakra. And there are going to be very, very high expectations from across the board. Uh, Ashraf, coming to you, uh, you know, the, 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 the expectation this year uh, from the government is that, you know, the political process, the election process will restart. Uh, uh, you know, in many ways, Amit Shah has that pressure on him as well to, you know, create an atmosphere where elections can happen again. W how are you seeing 2023, Ashraf, on the back of what Amit Shah has just said? Absolutely, Shu, as I was going through your uh, first report, where uh, it is clear that this is a very important year for the government of India because uh, elections are due and there is a state without a chief minister, without yes. a public or we can say a, a elected government. And uh, uh, before the 2024 parliamentary elections, the government of India, particularly the BJP, would like to see a uh, elected government in Jammu and Kashmir because mm. it is a part of uh, criticism going on against the move of uh, 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 NDA or BJP government on uh, 5th of August 2019. In fact, because uh, we are seeing that the claim was then made by Home Minister himself, Prime Minister, in fact, that within the months, the situation in the Kashmir Valley as well as in the state will improve and there will be no terrorism. But we are seeing that the start of uh, this new year, 2023, started with one of the uh, uh, terror attacks in the Rajori in which three, uh, seven innocent people got killed. And there are many more worries because uh, one of the recently infiltration bid was yes. filed on the line of control in the uh, same sector and also some infiltrators killed uh, in the track who were proceeding towards Jammu. That means there is a uh, uh, there was some kind of infiltration probably which may have succeeded that infiltration into the Kashmir Valley and after the winters, there will be a, uh, there will be again the strategy which was adopted by the Pakistan that terror attacks right. may uh, 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 may increase in the Kashmir Valley. So, to security is already in uh, in uh, intact after the abrogation of Article 370 across the Jammu and Kashmir. But there are also the new challenges, as Sunil was saying, the targeted killings, the specifically the 
strategy where now the areas like in Jammu and Peer Panchal are being uh, uh, chosen for the terror attacks. Absolutely. That is the mind of uh, the worry with the government of India. But the main focus of the government is election and also very importantly, the Bharat Jodo Yatra is next week entering into the Jammu and Kashmir hmm. and that will have also its political impact as well as the uh, 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 security okay. impact also. That security is very important also for the government here in Jammu and Kashmir.